Hello, hello. It's new week. Um, I actually, can you tell that I'm stressed? <laughs> I, I think this video is going to be us studying for adult health. And I just wanted to kind of bring you guys along with like everything that we do to do that. So good little study vlog. Just show you the grind of what it takes to study for a med surge exam. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy though, and we're just gonna get on into it. Oh, or something. Macy cooked for us. It, uh, it, it's also what works along with pressure support, uh, but the peep, what it does is. Hi guys, Wilson here. I need my community health grade <laughs> immediately. <laughs> <laughs> we're studying for adult health critical care. Just wanted to update you. Um, look, I'm me, being Amber, and I'm writing out my notes. Pretty. Ah! Love it. What does your mind look like? I'll show you guys later. I did that yesterday. So basically, yesterday what I did was I went over Macy's typed notes and then rewrote them myself and listened to lectures and then watched some YouTube videos to just like pre-study, if that makes sense. And then now, now we're going over one chapter at a time. We're going to write everything on the whiteboard and then we're going to do some practice questions. But yeah, so now we're just writing down like need to know things. Yes. Not dying yet. Mm. Stay tuned. This big ass whiteboard is my uh, love language. <laughs> still doing their job and releasing oxygen in the vasculature. So this is going to cause capillary So pretty. Hello. I'm letting my ATI run because it has to be on for an hour. And in the meantime, I'm working on Pinterest for content ideas. Love that, we're being so productive. So productive. I just did a CMS though. Like, I just did a practice B CMS thing. And now we're about to go at it again. <gasps> Look at that whiteboard. It's incredible. And we have coffee. And alcohol, if needed. Um, fine. <laughs>
Literally send help. Send it. Is this whiteboard so nice though? I want it. Take Hi. me out the game. Please. Hey guys. I am once again studying, but I am watching my boyfriend's family's dogs, so I had to come back and couldn't stay with Alicia and Macy for longer, but now I'm just about to go over rheumatic diseases. Um, now Macy's calling me. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is Thursday, so we have community class today, and tomorrow's our test, our adult health test. So, today, usually what I do is we, we all meet at school pretty early, and then we'll just study together, like review, do practice questions, blah, 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 and, but I'm dog sitting, if you can't tell them filming in a different place, but <laughs> I'm dog sitting, so I simply cannot leave them alone for freaking 14 hours today. So, and me and my friends also have to work on a project before class. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna stay here and study for about four hours, then head to school, and then um, study during community class. Like I'm just gonna record her lecture because if you guys are in nursing school, you understand that like sometimes you just cannot pay attention. Like, yeah, you're supposed to pay attention to the lecture, but it's more beneficial to me to record it and listen later and take notes because I cannot take notes when they're going that fast. So that's the plan. And Alicia let me make some coffee at her house last night because I didn't have any here. And she has a Nespresso and mine's at home and breaking. So I can never make coffee. That's why I've been buying Starbucks so much, which is so bad. Like literally this tasted better than the freaking sugar cookie latte, but it's fine. Hopefully soon we, we won't be living out of my car so much. Yeah, so just taking care of the doggos and I need to review like a couple more chapters for this test that I just really haven't gotten to spend much time on. That way, today, we ain't gotta do nothing else. They're coming. Nighty boy. Hi. And later today during class, I'm just gonna do practice questions while I record her lecture for a different class because I just can't, like, pick and choose your battles like I just don't have enough time and then I have to be back here to take care of the dogs again tonight and then the test is at 7 a.m so at this point like today during class is all I have left like to review and then I'm just gonna have to stay up late to do any more practice questions or review that I need to do which I'm sure it I'll be fine but yeah <sighs> I'm feeling fan freaking tastic Hello, it's Friday, yay. We get to be in class all day. Look at my cute little leg. You see it? I can't tell if it's actually cute, but from my point of view, it's cute. I got Macy to literally bring me slick back Kim K supplies so that I just didn't have to worry about it. Um, back up, right? I got a hot coffee today because it is a whopping like less than 30 degrees outside which means I can finally drink hot coffee because if you know me you know that I will only drink hot uh iced coffee unless it's like Christmas time like right there or I am so cold that I can't move and it was so cold that I couldn't move this morning so here we are because I left at like 5 30 and I had to sit in my car for like at least 10 minutes like waiting for it to defrost because I don't have remote start like I used to and I miss it so much. If you have that, take advantage because I miss it. But um, I could have just gone outside and started my car, but honestly, like it took me five minutes to get ready. So I was like, what's the point in me going outside to freeze, to come back in and then to go back? Yeah, I was like, whatever, I'll just sit there and suffer. So yeah, I did all the practice questions humanly possible. And then 
I just started freaking out. Like, I was like, I don't know what else to do at this point. Like, I just don't. And I couldn't stay with everybody last night to study because I needed to go dog sit. Plus, I, I feel like sometimes you just have to know yourself. Like, last night I was like, I know that we're all, like, we all haven't been able to study just like a couple of us have, like, separately. And I was like, I, I just know that the night before the test, everyone is stressed and everybody's going to want to focus on a different thing. Whereas, like, when it's a week before the test, we can all agree to be like, oh, let's start on this. You know what I mean? And then it's, like, not an issue. But then the night before the test, people are going to be like, oh, well, I know that. And somebody's like, oh, I don't know that. So... It just becomes kind of hard um, unless we're like all studying together. But just because clinicals have been so crazy for the first few weeks of this quarter, um, we haven't been able to like all study together like for days at a time so that we're like all on the same schedule. So I was like, you know, like I, I just know that myself, I'm going to get stressed and irritated if I stay and everybody's just like wanting to do different things because it just like stresses me out so I was like I think that my time would be better spent if I just go and study on my own and just like look over whatever I feel like I need to look over um I don't feel that confident to be honest but Cam guys if you have a man like this in your life we're so lucky um he literally quizzed me over my entire study guide he has no idea what he be, he's even talking about or reading. I was like, just read this highlighted stuff. <laughs> like, read things in this color. And he literally quizzed me over the whole thing. And I actually did pretty well. The only things that I missed were, like, things that were, like, I said right, but I just didn't, like, read it right. Because he doesn't know if I'm, like, saying anything right or not. Unless I'm, like, reading word for word. But that was so helpful. I can't even explain. Like, he literally had to go on a road trip for a funeral. And he still took the time to quiz me and I love that so if he wanted to he would ladies <laughs> but um yeah now it's time to take the test I'm about to review some stuff I'm scared I'm not gonna lie I'm scared <laughs> okay guys it's still the same day and I am currently in the Zaxby's parking lot because a girl be hungry, but I got an 88. Get that bag, queen. Um, I got an 86 on the last one for reference, um, which the last one was like more like cardiac and pretty much just cardiac. But um, I'm proud. So like, cause honestly I was concerned. Like I knew I was gonna pass cause I felt like I usually try not to go into a test. Like usually I'm not gonna be like, fuck it. Like that's just not me. But I figured I would do okay. I knew I knew I probably had passed like after I took it. But I'm just glad. Like I can't believe I even got that close to a 90. Um, because after the test, I was like, okay. Like there were a couple questions that I definitely missed, and they were like some that we probably like couldn't remember. And he did give a couple back, but like not a whole lot. Um, and there were. Uh, like three that I missed but like there was like a good reason if that makes sense like I just was thinking about it wrong but like now I know what I did wrong if that makes sense but anyway so yeah I got an 88 so to show you guys like what the outcome was for studying this week um pretty proud honestly that's like not bad at all and Macy got a 94 you guys she got the high so leave her some love in the comments good lord that is insane um but yeah like this just goes to show like don't stress yourself out over like feeling like you're not working hard enough if that makes sense like that's what I tried to do this week was be like okay I don't feel like I'm working like as hard as I could be working but I'm still working and like that's kind of all I could do so just do what you can get that coffee get the food that you want take a break and you're probably gonna be fine like literally just put in work and put in what you can don't overdo it and don't like make yourself feel bad like you're not doing enough because you're doing you're doing enough like it's relative like everybody has different ways that they study everybody has like 
everybody studies different ways throughout the year. Like it, people have things going on in their lives and everything, but just you got this, okay? Prime example, you're gonna make it and I believe in you, okay? I love you. Hey guys, popping in to say thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and realistic for you. It like didn't feel like a super great study week, but it worked and <laughs> that's all that matters, I guess. But I just want to show you guys my notes. Um, I know you saw them in the video, but I think I'm going to try to link them below just so you can see, like, how I set them up. Um, yes, and then also Violet makes these um, charts. And this is just for one chapter, but I was going to link that or just put it in there with this because it could be helpful for you to see how she takes her notes too. And then maybe we can put our Google Doc on there just so you guys can see what what we do and how we set things up i hope she really wants to be in the video but thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys later